Do you want to no, that, was, that was beautiful. Good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack from Audient, and I'm here today with guitarist Bruce. And we're going to be showing you one of the many ways to get a clean and a crunch sound from our new amp modeling audio interface, Sono. So Sono is our two-channel audio interface, which is perfect for guitarists or musicians. It features two Audient console mic preamps, as well as the ultimate guitar channel, which has got a 12AX7 valve preamp on board, as well as two notes cab simulation. So, Bruce. Yes. How would you go about getting a, a clean tone in Sono? Well, obviously, when uh, as we're dialed in at the moment, pretty much um, put everything at 12 o'clock, and starting in, uh, what we've got on the software is the loft room, and the drive about 12 o'clock. We're likely to get a clean sound to begin with. Okay. Well, should we should we have a listen? Let's see what it sounds okay. like. Sounds good Clean. so far, yeah. So one thing to note about the Two Notes software is, well, pretty much all of it is customizable. So at the moment we're running through a, a Voice 65, which is similar to a, a Vox amp, and that's also running through a 421 microphone in the loft setting. Mm -hmm. So obviously we're getting this quite big open space. Yeah. We've got the mic backed off a bit, so that's why you're obviously hearing a lot of that room sound. But we can go through and change the different rooms. If you wanted to play a bit, then I can just change through some of the room sounds and we can we can really hear the differences yeah, between it. Cool. So like I said, the first one we've got is the loft sound uh, and I'll switch through them and you can hear the differences. So this is hall A. B. Hall B sound a lot more rolled off. Yeah. And we can go through. More intimate. We got a crypt. So a bit bigger, more spacious uh, room. We'll see a lot more harder surfaces. For all those crypts that we play out of. And the biggest room available, which is the cathedral, which is quite large. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And that's with the mic at about 11 o'clock in terms of where it's rolled off. So there's a lot more space to, to move there. Yeah, well, we could go crazy and go all the way. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So um, we've left it in Hall B. I think that's what, what do you think sounds sounds the best? Yeah, it's nice. I think quite a neutral sound, but still um, more spacious in the reverb yeah. than is available in the, in the studios. Cool. Uh, I think it would be a good idea to change um, to a different microphone. Obviously, like I mentioned before, there's lots of different microphones uh, that we've got available to us. We've got condenser microphones, dynamic microphones, and ribbon microphones, all kind of the ones that you would expect um, you know, to have in a studio. You've got your uh, U87s, your 421s, 57s, um, R121s, all, all the standard mm. ones, basically. So yeah. you're, you, you're gonna get a great sound yeah. from all these. A lot of space for experimentation. Yeah, there. exactly. And I think with the having such a variety of amps available, which is really where that sort of core sound changes. The, yeah. uh, the the mics just add that little extra little bit of yeah. change in the dynamic quality. Exactly. Um, and anyone that's used them will you know know yeah. they have their own characteristics. Obviously, if you've got a 57, it's going to be very middly and you know got that bit of top end. Where if you've got a ribbon microphone, that's obviously going to have a rolled off top end mm -hmm. and a bit warmer sounding. Yeah.
think the, uh, the, the Nightfall U87 condenser mic is, is the one that really sounds, sounds the best. I think as well, just to add that when it comes to recording, the sound that's coming directly out of uh, Sono isn't, is, is going to be much lower latency because all of the processing is happening within the unit for, this, uh, for these sounds that we're changing here. And if the reverb or the sounds of the rooms isn't quite what you're looking for, then uh, you can always dial in your own pedals, which we, we have here. We've got, a, yep. we've got a Blue Sky Reverberator. And so if we bring the room down. Yep. Obviously, we're not really getting any room there. No, right next to the mic. Yeah, exactly. But we can. <laughs> Sounds quite similar, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, we can we can go crazy with that preset. It's like a blend of the cathedral and yeah. the hall there. Yeah. Well, it's on it's on plate, so it's on this plate reverb we've got. So oh, it doesn't say cathedral on there. Uh, it doesn't say cathedral on there, unfortunately. No. I mean, that sounds, sounds great so far, but how would you go about turning something like this into a bit more of like a rocky, crunchier mm -hmm. sound? Well, I'd start by losing the reverb first. Yeah, take that off. And then, well, I suppose the first thing that's tempting to do is to crank up the drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, not gonna do that immediately. Yeah, probably jump back to one of the studios. Yeah, okay, so cool. So we're, we're in Studio A and then let's have a look at some of the, the 4x12 cabs. Perhaps. Yeah, so obviously on the Two Notes app, um, for demo purposes, we've got the whole thing so we can just test and see, you know, see what ones sound cool. So I think if we go with, go with an angle of vintage, I think if we turn this all the way down, yeah. the power amp section, we'll see how that sounds and then we can crank it up. So obviously very clean, no no speaker breakup, and then we can. It's starting to break up now. Nice. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I think I'd. I'd still like a little bit more body, uh, yeah. perhaps. I mean, we can try with the EQ. So we can have a fiddle there. All right, so we've got a three band EQ on board. So obviously if you're not, you know, not too happy with the sound that's coming from the guitar, we can always add more body or take stuff away, or, mm -hmm. you know, all the EQ stuff. Yeah. Um, all right, so do you want more bass? Let's try a little bit more bass. And then, you know, if you've got your own pedal board, mm -hmm. you know, we can we can go even further. Yeah. Um, I think it would be good if we, maybe if we chuck the, the Tube Screamer on and yeah. have a little go of that, because, you know, if we've got some solo stuff. Crank it up a little yeah. bit more. So yeah, we've got this uh, Tube Screamer TS9 here, uh, with the drive set to about three o'clock, tone about three o'clock as well and volumes at 12 o'clock. So should we have, if I play what I was playing yep. without no. it, and then just whack it on. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, sounds great. 
Okay, so there were a couple of ways that you can get a nice clean tone or a nice crunchy blues tone through Sono, whether you're recording or just practicing at home in your bedroom. You can even take it out and store the cabs on Sono and then go play live in mm -hmm. a gig. Yeah, I think yeah, we've, we've just scratched the surface with a couple of examples there. Possibilities are huge. So for more information, you can check it out on our website at audient.com forward slash Sono.